Hey guys, bringing you another key repair video today, working on a Toshiba Tecra. And I'm going to show you today how to safely remove a normal size small letter key and then how to safely put it back on without breaking it. I'm doing this because oftentimes if you need to replace one of these keys, they're hard to find for sale uh, loose. So you're going to have to buy a keyboard and then take a key off of that and then put it back on yours. Um, that's a preferable repair for these kind of computers because this keyboard cannot be easily removed. Um, and if you do remove it, you, you can't get the new one back on very securely. So that's why we're replacing an, an, an individual key. Uh, if you need to know how to replace a larger key, like an enter, shift, or space key, they're going to look a little different than the normal size key that I'm showing you in this video. So check out the video link in, in the description for one of those larger keys. Uh, now grab your small flathead screwdriver and uh, we'll go to work on one of these keys. So I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to put it in between these two components. I'm going to put it underneath my keycap, which is the top part, but I'm going to put it on top of the retainer clip underneath. And by getting it in between these two, I'm going to hold down the retainer clip while I'm taking this part off. So hopefully that retainer clip won't break as I'm peeling this off. So I'm going to take it off now and then I'll show you what it looks like underneath. Slide it in there. Okay, so that came off kind of easily. Uh, and as you can see, my screwdriver is holding down this clip. Now, this will look a little different based on what model you have. And unfortunately, even if you're do doing the exact same model, two different computers can have two different clips. Unfortunately, it's not a standard part, so it's kind of a pain. But they'll all be laid out just like this. Uh, you'll have the rubber component in, in the center that pushes your keycap back up after it's been pressed. That's only held on by glue, so be very careful not to rip that up. They're a real pain to get back down. The retainer clip will usually be white or black, and it will be two parts that fit together in the center to form this clip that accordions up and then lays flat. Now they'll generally be held down the same way too. I have four metal pins near all four corners. Rarely you'll have a computer with one metal pin in the center on one side, giving you a total of three pins, but usually they'll have a total of four near all four corners like this one does. Now in order to get this up, I'm going to locate my pins that are closest to the edge. Yours may be the bottom, but in this computer it's the top. These are the closest to the edge. And what I'm going to do now is press up with my fingernail as much as I can, even though there's not a lot of room in there. And as I'm pressing up to get as much wiggle room as I can, I'm going to slowly and gently try to pry the plastic out from under these metal pins. And once I get it up, I'll, I'll show you why we're being very careful at this part and what we're trying not to break. So I'm going to push up, try to pry that up. Okay, that side's good. Up, try this side up. Turn this around. Okay, so actually it's good that you've seen this. Unfortunately, my clip came undone. See the two parts came undone there. But I'm gonna just put those back together real quick. Again, they're two parts and they fit together in the center with those two plastic pins. So I'm just gonna get one inside that end first. Kind of pain in the butt, they're such small components. There we go. So this is what you're looking at here. So this is what I was trying not to break. If, if you see here, these two tiny, tiny holes near the corners, that's the plastic that was underneath those metal pins. Very thin, very breakable. And that's what I was trying to pry up from under the metal. And if you don't pry it up gently enough, you can just rip those plastic pieces right out and then this won't lay flat and your key won't be secure. So that's a real pain. And then when these two components came undone from each other, the inner clip, have, has two little plastic pins that go out that fit into tiny, tiny holes on the outer clip. Those also are very breakable. Basically, this is a gigantic, very thin plastic breakable part, so be very careful with this procedure. But that's how you would take a, a key up safely. Now to put it back down safely, we're gonna go in reverse. I pry the top up first, so now I'm gonna put the bottom down first. So I'm just gonna lay that in there, try to get it nice and flat, I'm going to try to get the bottom up underneath its metal pins nice and flush, make sure it's centered, 
and then when I'm sure it's in the right spot, all you should have to do is press down on the corners and snap them back in. Just like that. So that's snapped back in now. You bring your keycap back over. Again, you get that lined up as best you can in the center. And when you're convinced you have it, you just press. And that snaps back in. Just like that. So that's how you would uh, successfully remove and install a key. Again, if you want to look at the larger keys, enter, space, shift, check out the video link below in the description. Uh, that'll be a link for how to do those larger keys because they got different things going on underneath than what you just saw. Uh, like and share if this was helpful. Leave me a comment if you need any help. And uh, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. Thanks for watching, guys.